All right, we want to learn how to hitch the makate onto our saddle horn. Take this off here, give you a better chance to see how this goes. <clears throat> I'm going to hold this in my hand and make sure that it's about even with my reins, maybe a little bit longer. We see we've got what I'll call my horse's end. That sticks out there and goes to the slobber strap. The tail end back here, we'll call that my end. I'm going to turn this so that my horse's end is on top. You see how we do that. Twist that around and we'll drop that over top of the saddle horn. Again, you can see my horse's end, that ends up on top. How you doing, Benny? Now from there, I'm going to take what's left of it here in the tail, and I'll imagine splitting that as well. The front of that we'd call the horse's end, the back of that we'd call my end. I'm going to twist that around just like I did the first time, and drop that over the horn. We see how we get that nice crossover look right there. <clears throat> so the horse ends up on top in both twists, and now we've got what we refer to as a clove hitch.